But let's talk about Black Lives Matter again. Uh, so the protests and riots are getting worse. People are setting curfews. People are getting shot with rubber bullets, tear gas, and mace. Oh, fucking goody. Oh, and Jake Paul is robbing people still. Great. And I love how we've reached the point where everything has gotten so ridiculous that it's spreading to other places. Wow, <laughs> we're living in 2020 for real. And the pandemic is still going on, but it doesn't matter. People are still making social contact. Oh my fucking God. And celebrities are still doing dumb shit. Oh, but YouTube's also a mess because H3 and Keemstar are fucking children. Oh, but it's gonna get worse and worse. Now, let me explain. 2020 is a fucking mess and everything with Black Lives Matter, a lot of black people are, are begging people to stop the protests, the violent ones at least, because all the violent protests, it's not that hard to demonize any black person for being black. It's not that hard. The media already does it for free. All you have to do is say, oh, look at this black person and just fib about the truth because more people are likely to listen to it because hell, when people people are literally committing crimes and demonizing black people, and it's it's, it's just fucking ridiculous. I'm 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 so sick of this shit. What the fuck? It, it, it makes me mad because it, it just uh, I can't. It's so dumb. Twenty twenty is a fucking mess, and I, I say this because as we keep going through twenty twenty, every everything right now is fucking terrible. Why am I talking about Black Lives Matter? Good question. Let's cut us to more clips from Twitter. Nonviolence is the strongest approach. I think that would apply to the Hungarian situation also. I don't think it's limited to a particular locality. I think it uh, should apply in every situation in the world where individuals seek to break loose from the bondage of colonialism or from some totalitarian regime or from the system which we confront in America. You truly believe then that nonviolence is the sole, the universal answer to injustice and oppression? Very definitely. Yes. Very definitely. I feel that um, nonviolence, organized, I should say, organized. Uh, non-violent resistance is the most powerful weapon weapon that oppressed people can use in breaking loose from the bondage of oppression. Now the other method that one might use is that of resignation or acquiescence. But I think that is just as bad as violence because non-cooperation with evil is as much a moral obligation as is cooperation with good. So why am I doing this? I just wanna just wanna show everyone how Twitter is taking this. How all lives matter. Like what? Uh, I already already showed this clip. There there's so much fucking shit going on. Like, good lord, I, people are just being fucking dumb. How I I'm gonna pull? There's so much fucking shit. I'm starting to lose my fucking mind. Literally, there there's so much going on, and yet. Everyone's losing their fucking shit, like they should, because, duh. That bastard, bro. There is, it's, it's going on everywhere. You you see what I'm what I'm trying to tell you? That we've, oh yeah, I already said this, but Jake Paul's still fucking looting and shit. Like, what? There's riots and sh Oh, fuck. Everyone's gonna get shot for real. Like, I'm not even joking anymore. Like, Chicago already has, like, the worst gun-related shit going on. But why am I showing you all this? Because this shit's fucking happening. And it's happening everywhere. Yep. Great. It's fucking 2020. Wow! But why did I bring up Martin Luther King? Because peaceful protest fucking works. And everyone keeps being ignorant, ignoring the fact that the only reason he was shot and killed was because his peaceful protest actually had an effect on everyone. And to say, well, it's not going to work. So therefore, angry protest that is going to get more people who are black demonized and victimized and everything. Oh, it's great and fine. Because even though they're, they're not destroying property and whatnot, because they don't want to get hurt anymore. Because, duh, more people are like destroying property. Hell, I showed you one of the clips where a black woman is literally saying, please stop. Because they're going to just keep blaming us. They're not going to do anything about you. And it's true. And it's fucking ridiculous. Because I need people to listen. And the fact that I have to show people that I'm black because so many people are fucking ignorant is even more worse because people are trying to tell you, yo, chief, we're telling you to stop because we're being victimized and blamed for something that you're doing. This isn't something that's new. How the media victimizes black people and says they're so dangerous, which is why there's so many even more related things to police shooting us. 
because everyone's just like, look at how bad and scary the blacks are. Oh my God. But I'm seeing this because I need people to fucking listen. We're not telling you to stop and not do anything. We're telling you to record these atrocities. We want you to report these atrocities. We want you to do peaceful fucking protests so less people can be saying, oh, look at the blacks and them rallying and, and them rallying up people to go and cause trouble and whatnot and to destroy properly because they're fucking thieves and criminals. It's fucking just stop. Just stop. Do peaceful protest. Record these atrocities and make sure they're seen. It's fucking ridiculous. People are fucking stupid in 2020. And it's just, it's, it's, it's fucking dumb.